Hi, welcome to this 5 minutes demo recording. In this demo, I will show you how to use OCI Golden Gate for replicating into Apache Kafka using plain text authentication. So, let's start. First of all, we are going to test our broker using the console producer and console consumer. So, in the producer, we are just going to create some messages and see if these messages are consumed by the consumer and yes these messages are being consumed by our consumer in the Kafka broker so our Kafka broker is good to configure with OCI Golden Gate so let's get started using OCI Golden Gate for replicating data into Apache Kafka using plain text authentication Okay, so first of all, I have to create a connection. I hit create connection button and then give a name for my connection. So I give OCIGG Kafka plan for the connection name. And then I select the connection type as Apache Kafka. And then I hit next. And here I have to provide the host and the port. So for the uh, host, I can use the bootstrap server and I'm just providing my bootstrap server and I'm using the port as 9092 for plan and then I have to select security protocol and I select plan text and then I just hit create so it will take a couple of seconds for OCI Golden Gate to create the connection so let's refresh it to see if the connection is there okay great the connection is ready and now I have to assign it to my deployment so I hit assign deployment button and then I select the compartment where my deployment is and from the drop down menu I'm selecting the deployment that I want to assign my connection to and hit assign deployment so it, it will take another couple of seconds for OCI Golden Gate to assign it and then um, here it is ready the connection is assigned to my deployment and I go to the deployment details and from the deployment details, I hit launch console to start the OCI Golden Gate web-based user interface. So I provide the username and password to log into OCI GG UI. Okay. Let's wait a couple of seconds for all the services to come. Okay, great. And then I hit add replicate to start repl configuring my replication. I select the replicate type as classic replicate, give the name for my replication process, KF plan, select the trail as EX. For the uh, target, I'm selecting Kafka. And for the available aliases, I will be selecting a Kafka plan. So actually, that's the connection that I recently uh, assigned to my deployment, OCIGG Kafka plan. And then I click next. So in parameters file, I have to provide source target mapping. So for the um, source mapping, I'm providing my schema and table name. And then I click next. Now I configure the properties file, so I have to provide the topic mapping template, which is actually uh, the name of the topic. So I will be using a combination of static name and a dynamic name. So static part, for the static part, I provide plan. And for dynamic part, I will be using the fully qualified table name coming from my source schema. And then I hit create and run for starting my replicate. So now my replication is starting and it will take actually a couple of seconds for OCI Golden Gate to start the replicate. So let's wait for a couple of seconds. Okay, great. Now my replication is up and running. So I will get into details, statistics to see the replication details. And here I can see that I have 18 insert operations being sent to my Kafka topic. So I get back to my console consumer and check the topic that I was actually using. And here I can see that together with the old messages I have, I have the new messages being sent by OCI Golden Gate. So these are the uh, messages being captured and sent into my Kafka 
topic by OCI Golden Gate using the plain text authentication. So um, that's the five minutes demonstration for OCI Golden Gate replicating into Apache Kafka with plain text authentication. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching.